In this video I'm going to talk about the techniques and methods for connecting paper straws when you're building an art straw structure like this. So what you're going to need for this is you're going to need some paper straws, a little bit of PVA glue and a small brush, a pencil and a ruler. Before we begin and show you the methods, there's a couple of top tips that you really need to think about when you're constructing something like this from paper straws. The first thing is, try to work methodically, step by step, don't rush, take your time, be patient. If you rush, the chances are the thing will fall apart and you'll get frustrated. Just take your time, allow the glue to dry, take your time with little parts. Second thing is to plan out each stage of your construction. Use a ruler and a pencil to mark out to get accurate measurements. Try to space out your things accurately. If you can, work from a drawing or even use a grid like this on this cutting mat. But if you don't, just work on a flat surface and work methodically. You can see in this bridge that I've worked carefully to make sure I've got accurate measurements. The third thing is organize your workspace. You don't need too many straws in front of you. If it gets messy, have a bit of a tidy up. You want a nice area where you can work that's free, free from things that are gonna get in the way. With that said, let's show you the construction methods that you might want to use. Obviously, it's up to you what methods you want to use. I'm just going to give you a few ideas. So the first one is I'm going to show you how to connect paper, paper straws perpendicular to each other or at right angles. Now, what I can do, I can just stick this on to the side here using tape or glue, but that's not the most effective way of doing it. I'm going to show you the way that I found to be the best. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to take paper straw and cut it in half. I'm not worrying about measurement at this stage, I'm just showing you the technique. Now, once we've got a nice clean edge, I'm gonna take a sharp pencil and I'm just gonna push the top over, like so, to make a little notch, and then the same again the other side, okay? And you'll see it makes a little V notch. And then I just use my pencil to go across that notch to make it a nice uh, semicircle which fits really nicely onto the side of the other paper straw. Okay, then uh, you can do it the other side as well. But in this case, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna just take another, just cut this up, take another bit of paper straw, take a bit of PVA, and this is super important. Most people, the big common mistake people make is they put use too much glue on their construction and it just becomes wet and soggy and takes a long time to dry. The key is using a small amount of glue. So you can see I've got a, a little bit of glue on the end. I put that on and then I take most of it off. Okay, so you can see there's no big lumps of glue there. And then I put it in place on here. Okay, and I hold that for about 10 seconds. Okay, and that will be enough time to get the glue to bite. The key here is if it's, you've used, used too much glue, the glue won't bite and it will just fall apart. So now you can see that that is in place and it's strong enough to hold it in place while I work on the next section. Now, talking about working methodically, what you could do then is put that to one side, let it dry a little bit more. It will take about 20 minutes to dry completely. I'm gonna take another paper straw, I'm gonna do exactly the same again, make the notch. Then I'm gonna add the glue. Add, you can add quite a bit to begin with, but then take all of it off with the brush. And then taking my paper straw, I'm gonna add that into that section there. And then hold that for about 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And you can see now that that is in place. Now what I can do, I just lay that on my nice flat surface that's clear of rubbish. Okay, and then I can just build up slowly the up sections on my bridge. And when that's fully dry, I could then come in and put the other bits together. Okay, so we can put that to, side, to the side. And then I'm gonna show you another technique for strengthening your bridge. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this cross section in here which makes it a lot stronger. 
you can see that if without it, when I push on these corners, it deforms the square slightly. And if you've got a force coming from these eight, from these angles, it's going to break your bridge or your, your, your structure. Whereas these, it makes it a lot stronger so that when you're pushing on the corners, the force is diverted in different directions. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. There are two ways in which you can do it. Um, I use both of them depending on how much time I've got. Now the first one is to measure, okay? And so when you're measuring, the best way to do it is if you line up your zero with one corner here, and then line it up to this corner. So it's 12 centimeters from corner to corner. All I then do is add two millimeters to that. So that's 12.2 centimeters or 122 millimeters so I'm just going to measure that as 122 and then I cut it as clear as I possibly can and again we push in our sides to create that notch I'm making sure they line up I'm going to do it the same this end and then what I do is I push this in place now you'll notice it's a little bit loose but that's okay because what we want to do here is we can put the glue on and then while we're waiting for the 10 seconds we just push those together for 10 seconds while it glues okay and so you don't want it too big but you want it to fit just nicely and snugly so if you measure from corner to corner that's 12 if you add two or three millimeters onto this that will be the perfect size the other way is to estimate it. So I take my straw, I push that into the corner, and then again, adding about two millimeters on, so just under halfway, I'm gonna measure that. I'm gonna put my notch in, and then that should fit nicely into that corner. In fact, that, was a, that one's a nicer fit. Okay, but it's still a bit loose. You're still gonna need to push into the corners, okay, to make that work. Okay, so that's how you strengthen your structures. Okay, the third technique we're gonna look at is, let's say I wanna make a really long bridge, okay, and we're limited by the length of our straws. So how do we connect together our straws to make them uh, better? So, to make them longer. I should say. Here's a bit I made earlier. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna cut the end off this one. And what I do is I just, using my nail or using a pencil again, I just do one side of that, okay? And then I just pinch that together and I push it to make a semi point like that, okay? And then that will just insert into the end of the other straw and you just push it up to where it's where it ends there and then add some glue and then put that in place and that will make a very very strong bond and then you can make a longer construction so those are the main techniques that you might want to use when you're building your structure hope you found this useful enjoy building